beware because this video will go on a little bit. So, woke up this morning fuming, absolutely no reason for it. I had a lovely weekend with Bianca and the kids, sold two vehicles the end of last week, the Ford Ranger and the Mini Convertible both went, which was great. And for a business of my size with limited amount of vehicles to sell to, I'm happy with. Um, so absolutely no reason for the, the waking up fuming. Went to the gym, and then obviously that really helps. So I feel, feel good, but I'm always reflecting and wanting to improve this business. And the reason I say that is a while back, I had a little bit of an email war, not an email war, but I had an email disagreement with a gentleman over the competition I did for the Audi. He said, oh, look, mate, I know you get paid on social media, but you don't have to put everything on there. And I don't. Okay, I do not get paid for anything to do with social media. I don't get anything for free. I don't get any endorsements. I do it all to help for advertising with a business. So if you're watching this video on, really? Could they be any louder? Um, if you're watching this video on Instagram or YouTube, you'll probably think, mate, you get like on YouTube 20 views, um, on Instagram, maybe a thousand, 2000 views. But over on TikTok, stacked up nearly 4.7 million views of people watching these videos. So that is where the value for the business is. People seeing the cars, seeing how I wanna treat the cars and hopefully wanting to then purchase a car of me. So there is the, the value in it. But I always think, what more can I be doing? What else could I bring to this business to maximize the earning potential of it? Look, if people tell you, oh, I don't, I don't go to work, I don't run my own business for the sheer love of it, they're lying. Everyone does stuff to get paid, yeah? To then earn money, to be able to do stuff with your family, buy nice things, whatever it might be, yeah? So nearly a year ago, it's not quite a year, and I'll make sure I tell you all when it's a year, I resigned from my job to do this full time, yeah? I feel very fortunate that I was able to cut the shackles off of being stuck in that routine of working very, very hard all week, phone calls, emails, when I was on the tools, manual, and at the end of the week, there you are, mate, tuck your wages in there, now go on, go and book, go and book your holiday and just about pay your bills every week, because, oh my God, what is that? What is that? Uh, so what I'm trying to say is I managed to... I can't, I, do you know what? My mind's gone. It's the biggest sort of cockroach or beetle thing just landed there. I'm going to, Anyway, so what I'm saying is I cut the chains off. I managed to get out of that system, yeah, of being dictated to. So I think, well, now you've done that, which was the hardest part, why not keep pushing? Why not keep pushing on and, and, and trying to do more? I was at a car show yesterday and there was a gentleman here with a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, yeah? My dream car, and you've probably heard me mention that a few times. Seeing it in the flesh as well, it was huge. I was just like, oh, look at it. And I was thinking what I would give to open my garage door and see that in there. And I've got to be careful this doesn't come across like I'm, oh, I just want to own a Lamborghini. It's not. My point is we only get a chance to live this life once. Oh my God, look at the size of it. Uh, we only get a chance to live this life once, yeah? Uh, and I think, while I'm here, why not give it everything I've got? Because if I want to own a Lamborghini, guess what? There's no one else stopping me. It's just me. There's no blockers in the way. The gentleman who owns this has clearly worked very, very hard for it, yeah? So my point of this video is, I personally am trying to always better myself, better the business and achieve goals. And I hope these people who watch this video also feel the same. You know, there's a, there's a lot of potential out there in people to do stuff and do things, you know. And I think we should all try and get on and, and, and make more. You know, like I'll say all the time, we don't get chance to live this life again. And I'm really fortunate to be here and doing this, but I just wanna try and do a little bit more. So I'm sorry I rattled on. Uh, and I'm going to try and avoid the world's largest beetle flying at my head. But thank you for watching. I don't care.